Good afternoon. Welcome back. It is March 28th, 2023. We have a few birthdays. We will get to those in just a second. We do have a few events today, and this is going to be a pretty short video because there's only a few events that I've seen that really uh, rung a bell with me here. Uh, first one, 1993 on this date, Dale Earnhardt Sr. wins the Trans-South Financial four or 500 at Darlington. It was the last 500-mile spring race at Darlington. More significantly, it was Alan Quickie's final career start before his tragic plane crash later on that week. Also on this date, 1999, Terry Labonte won at Texas Motor Speedway. Uh, that was one getting near the end of his career wins. I know his last win came in 2003, but he's you know starting to dwindle down in his career win total here, or getting near the end of his career total. And then in 2004, Kurt Busch won the cup race at Bristol. All three of these have been cup races that we mentioned. And this is his third spring race in a row that he's won. And you can kind of see how much the schedule adjusted in that 10-year period, 11-year period. Darlington, Texas, and Bristol were all on this date. So uh, pretty interesting there how the, the schedule got jumbled around. So we have a few cards here we're going to show you. We've only got three cards because I can only find one of each uh, driver here. Born on this date in 1960, one of the Bush All-Star Series champions, Steve Kosicki. If you've never heard of him, I've never really actually watched him race, but NASCAR had this Bush All-Star Tour, which was a dirt series. Him and his brother and brothers and father, they just dominated it. Ed Kosicki and Joe Kosicki and Steve Kosicki. And it was out there in, I think, like Iowa and in that area. But they always had... Uh, they was always part of that NASCAR Bush All Star Tour, and it, and you can if you have the NASCAR yearbooks and press guides from the late '80s, early '90s, it's always in the back of the book. And there's a few names in there that pop up that I think that you guys might have uh, recognized. I don't have any off the top of my head, but there's definitely always a lot of cool people uh, in those books. Born on this date in 1956. In the card is an uncorrected error. I just noticed that looking at this, Mr. Jerry O'Neill. Ran a few cup races here and there, but it says March 8th, should be March 28th. Check with two or three sources. So the card is like an uncorrected error. That one just went by the proofreaders back then, but Mr. Jerry O'Neill ran a few cup races back in the late 80s, early 90s. <clears throat> and probably one of our more well-known names today, uh, born on this date, 1947, Mr. Bob Brevac, longtime Arca Series competitor. Always did good on the speedways. Uh, did move to the truck series. This was the truck number, truck that he uh, started with. But he also ran that 34 number in the Arca series and was pretty successful with it. So anyway, like I said, it's going to be a short video today. Not a lot to cover. But anyway, come back and see us tomorrow. I'm not going to do a rip tomorrow. I'm going to do another flea market find. We'll show you the rest of the hero cards that I was able to pick up at the flea market a couple of weeks ago. So I hope you guys will, as the camera gets out of focus, hope you guys will tune in for that. Thanks again for watching. Enjoy the rest of your Tuesday, and we will see you tomorrow.